Let's talk about the previous video. Help this job is for losers. I know many people would react and I would receive negative feedbacks. That's all expected. Here's the thing. It's just an experiment, you know? We want to know how people would react if we say this. Help this job is for losers. Because if I'm in that situation of the help this guy and I see this video, I would ignite the fire in me. I will be motivated. I will take it as a wake-up call and thought, yeah, Dean is right. I deserve a better career. I am not a loser. I'm really glad that there are still people who showed more appreciation as they were inspired and felt empowered by the video. Now, let's have a serious discussion because we are not done yet. There are three types of people in this discussion. First, those who didn't experience working as help desk. Most of the time, this is by choice, like myself. For those who are curious, my first job was a developer. Then I became a LAMP administrator. LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL. The P can be either or PHP or Python. Nowadays, they call it full stack developer. Then I moved to network engineering easily. I don't recommend anyone going for help desk job. No way I will trade my developer and LAMP administrator career with help desk. There are also people who work at help desk and they don't recommend people going for that role because they know it sucks. And they would honestly tell you to go for a better path or better position. And the third one. There are some IT professionals who disagree with me and tell people to go for help desk as their first job because there are more available positions and easier to get hired. Is that even a good excuse? All right, so my mentality is different. If I put myself in that position, a fresh grad or as a young kid wants to break in the IT world, I would challenge myself to get the more difficult position, but promising from the previous video a lot of people don't really get these devops and cloud as your first job there are more and more younger generations who start their learning and certification journey in the cloud technologies versus the traditional comtia and cisco certifications you see instead of comtia a plus instead of comtia network plus and ctna they will just go for aws certified cloud practitioner then AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate, and maybe other two certifications, such as AWS Certified Dev of, uh, Developer Associate and AWS Certified SysOps Administrator Associate. And uh, there are more opportunities for cloud associates or junior cloud administrator role. This is actually started during the pandemic. Now, you can't imagine how many companies with this kind of setup so this is the format. Most of these are startup and SMBs. So this is the setup. Everyone is working from home. Company will provide you laptops, gadgets, and other materials. And sometimes you can just buy your own and reimburse it to them. There are no offices, no infrastructure to maintain. And all applications and tools are running in the cloud. Name it, email applications, spreadsheets, presentation slides, file servers, CRM, and many others. And the only IT people they hire are full stack application developer, meaning they just don't code and create build applications. They also know Linux and databases. And of course, cloud administrators or cloud engineers. No network engineers, no help desk, no technicians. These companies, they don't need CompTIA certifications. They don't need CCNAs. They don't need even the higher level certifications such as CCNP certs. They need AWS and Google Cloud skills and certifications. And maybe a little programming slash scripting background to help them for automation. You see, this is the part that many IT people doesn't know. You don't need to work in the office with all of these network infrastructure. There are huge opportunities for small companies. They don't have much budget, maybe don't have much benefits, 
but you will have an experience working with the cloud environment with cloud technologies. Oh yeah, you get work from home benefits too. I think that's enough. I would take this role, you know, any day, even if it's just for minimum wage. Yeah, sure. I will definitely go for this role over a help desk position. Now, here is the bonus. And this is for any cloud position. Assuming you are specializing with the big three cloud service provider, we have AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. Opportunities are available for all company sizes. Name it, startups, SMBs, even large companies like telcos, banks, oil, and even government organization. So junior cloud administrator or cloud associate is better than help desk position. I will repeat these over and over. No individuals who plan their career in cloud and DevOps ended up working in help desk. No way. You see, if I have three or four AWS or Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud certifications, do you think my skills suits for help desk position? No way. Now, maybe you are thinking, Dean, I thought you want us to be CCNA first. Okay, so if you are targeting cloud career for SMBs, you don't need CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate. But it's also not a bad idea having a CCNA knowledge on top of your AWS skills. Note that CCNA is still the most popular certification out there. And you will be needing that networking knowledge if you are working in a large cloud environment, especially with hybrid cloud. 